Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome back to the wonderful, gorgeous world of Pyre. We won our second right handily up the difficulty level, found out a bit more about Faye, and now we're on the tracks of the missing minstrel who ran away. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Glue Hive just because. Well, it's different. So let's check it out. As you travel through the dusty wastes of Glue Hive, Edwin seems more ill at ease than usual. There's no sign of the missing minstrel. Oh no. Um, the remains of the Hive Titan. Lifeless carapace of Bialanthius. Bialanthius still looms over the western edge of the valley. It's hard. It's hard to figure out how to pronounce these. Sorry about this, Jody. I had a hunch you must have come this way. Would that our hunches could be more dependable. But do not fear. We shall find him yet. Sounds like a hunch to me. More of a promise. You pick up bits and pieces of the minstrel's significance to your fellow exiles. He was there when they first discovered the Black Wagon. But they refuse to say much more for now. I wonder if we'll catch up with him later. Stop the wagon! Oh, the music just comes to a bit of a halt. Okay, Good timing. So. Oh, I love the music. Like, it's it's dynamic, right? It's really cool. What? What? How come? Because of her. They're coming! They're coming for us! We have to be ready! We have to! Does she mean what I think she means? I believe so. Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare the wagon for whatever is out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of their source of concern. Prepare for the night. Oh, man. Is there anything I can do in here? See that the candles came back. They're relit. The cobwebs are gone. Okay, let's prepare for the night. They are coming for us. They fear the scribes! They fear the scribes! I know they do! What's she talking about? What's going on? Howlers. Lots of them. They, what are we gonna do? They fear the scribes. Calm yourself, Faye. You shall give them reason to fear us as well. We use the raiments in the books. Indeed. One of us can draw them out under the reader's watch. It shall be just like one of our rights. Edwin turns to you. How is this gonna work? Seems we need your help in this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. I will do it, reader, please! You have to let me! And the scribes, they will protect me! I know they will! Jodario exchanges looks with Hedwin. Each of them nods at you, as if to signal their approval. He intends to help fend off the howlers. Here we go! I, I guess we're gonna... It's gonna be like a right? Poggle aim assist in the options menu if you wish to make it easier to... Uh, I don't think I need to help with that. This, is, this might be tough then. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. That howling sound, it, it, it means, it, it means they're here. Oh, by the scribes, they're here. And on the howlers. Oh, they're imps. Oh, I see. They have their own like evil aura. Slows us down. Manage challenge by power casting. Am I not power casting? Oh, 
Oh. Uh, that's weird. I thought that I was power maybe I have to do something different to power cast. More! I, I think there's many more. Oh, here, here they come, here they come! Here. Oh man! Okay, we're back. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed. I missed a couple. Release X. Oh, what did it say? Is it over now at last? It is, I, I think it is. Oh, those poor and wretched beasts. Huh? Just then Faye spots something creeping toward her. <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I expected at all. <laughs> Ferocious creature. <laughs> Holding B, release when you see a flash to power. Oh. See a flash to power cast. Okay, I don't think I caught that before. The howling subsides as your fellow exiles scramble out to check on Faye. You find her in one piece, along with an unfamiliar little face. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, it's a drive-in. Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? Scree who? I think I'll think I'll just make the let the game make the sounds for the driving. You sense a depth of experience in this creature, at least judging by drive amp standards. Some high standards. In fact, you feel a connection to him. If you concentrate, perhaps you can derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. Drive him seems both excited and frustrated by something. Interact to try to understand him. You sense some pattern in the drive imp's screeches. He seems welcoming of this. This drive imp seems to have a history with your black wagon. You're beginning to understand him. Drive imp recognizes you as the new reader of the Night Wings. He's pleased to meet you. You now understand his unusual drive imp. Okay. Can't click on him, eh? The drive imp seems satisfied at having gotten through to you, and you explain to your companions what little you have learned of him so far. No one argues against letting the creature come along. Inside the wagon, the other drive imps stare at him with something like reverence. The drive imp joined you. He seems to know his way around. That, that was that was weird. I'll take it. Are they all? Are they all looking? Oh, they're not all. I thought I saw this one looking at him, so I figured they all were. Well, now he's now he's back to it. Some more cobwebs. We don't need those. Clean the place up a bit. Looks like they just return. Probably, probably no significance. I don't know. Maybe there is. All right, let's interact with him. You can see the little imp has made himself at home. Little perch. He brushes right up to you. Your new imp companion seems very pleased to be in the wagon. He indicates he was able to find you thanks to the swarm of howlers. That's. <laughs> That's a crew whom whom means, everybody. Remember that. Whoa! He has no love of howlers, and they know not to mess with him either. He plans to set up a nest that should ward off any further trouble from them. He looks forward to the road ahead to everyone and believes it shall be worth it. Hey. Seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs. He urges you to keep going. 
He bounds off toward his brethren, settled in the wagon's rafters. It was, oh, I see the rug now. He's carrying the wagon. Jody's carrying the wagon. Exploring with Faye. Exploring with Ruki. Practicing his letters. All right, let's continue. Going to lick sand, an arid southern pass toward the ominous cairn of Howl. Your new imprint seems insistent that you take this path bearing east. Uh, well, we don't really have a choice, so I think that's what we'll do. Hedwin orders the wagon to halt somewhere in the rocky pathways of Jomir Valley. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches, arms spread wide. Though a hat and cloak conceal the figure's features. Then the imp rushes out toward whomever it is. Uh, okay, what do you say? The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever it is approaching. Although, in an almost joyous way. Ah, oh, who is this? Oh, it's the lone minstrel. Okay. Looks like a vampire. Kind of. Tizo, it is good to see you, and you found the others, even faster than expected. Oh, that's the name of the imp. He is a venerable drive imp who seems to know the ins and outs of the Nightwing's black wagon. The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns toward the rest of you. Hello. We have not met, but I know who you are, or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think maybe you have. Hello indeed. You had us worried there when you took off. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the Nightwings have returned. Your client? I am my client, Sandalwood. He is your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find this wagon by mistake. So it seems like we have some kind of destiny. So what now? You continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not interfere. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be all right? Edward and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, minstrel. You got a name? I am sometimes called Tariq. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. Tariq, the lone minstrel. He appears to be a traveling musician. It seems to be connected to the rites. I wonder if we can use him in the rites. That'd be cool. The lone minstrel returns to the black wagon with your fellow exiles. All right. Well, I didn't take I didn't take too long. Karen of Haub is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next rite is soon to commence. Ligaratus. Reader, if you have a moment, once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon. At your leisure. Page revealed the rope collar. So we have the slug market with us. Oh, hey guys! Fancy running into you this side of the sand. So, what can I do for you? Yeah. What can I do you for? Sorry. Uh, Ron, how'd you make it all this way ahead of us? Eh, yeah, come on now, Mr. Greentail. Can't just give up all my business secrets, am I right? What I can do, though, seeing as you've been such a good customer and all, is provide for you a sample of a little something something you might like. Here, check this out. Seeing as you bought that moon crest thinger for me last time, why, I, I'm just thinking you could use this. And I got more if you want. Pinch of Stardust. Raises the rank of certain talismans. Oh, 
shimmering substance with mystical properties said to come from the heavens themselves. I like how they're like just gradually introducing new things, like new mechanics and new items, rather than just like throwing it all at you at once. Looks like I can buy more too. Interact with Ron to quiet him down. Okay, we've got 99 soul. We can get this lucrative contract. After banishing an adversary, the bear gains plus one soul. Up to this many times per rate. But wait. <laughs> so I don't want to. I don't want to quiet him down. <laughs> so I spend ten to get, to get, ten. Oh, I see. It, it happens per rate. Mm. You can use it like, it basically if I banish ten adversaries with that person, in the first rate, then I've made my money back, and then I can just it's profit after that. Okay. Lunar glass, two hundred soul. While carrying the orb, the bearer moves faster than usual, plus ten percent. Wow, that's expensive. Ash and coal. At the start of a, of a right, the bearer's pyre automatically gains plus seven. I'm gonna grab this contract, but I'm also I'm gonna grab this for sure. Ah, I know you're going to like that stuff, guys. It's pretty woo. Know what I mean? And if you want some more now, I know just the individual and his dad who can get it. Catch my meaning? Yeah? Just stop by. Just stop on by some other time. I think he's talking about himself. Not 100% sure. Do I want to get the ashen coal? Mm, I think I'll save the money for something stronger. Like, I'd really like to get this lunar glass, although... It's like for 10% movement, it's pretty expensive. Now, what do we want to upgrade? Certain talismans. Whoa, it doubles it. Yeah? I think it's plus two. Thirty-three percent. Gonna double that also. Well, I think. Do I have a talisman? I guess we can give her the. Um, we can give her the lucrative contract, but I kind of want to give it to Jodariel. We can give her this one. She's gonna banish a lot of people. She's got such a huge presence. What, is, what about this? We can get 11. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think... I, I, okay, I want to use these on, on these two. The Kerfang, because it doubles their, their potency. <laughs> Tell all your friends about us because I already told mine. Love Falcadron. Okay, let's talk to the minstrel. Oh, the white lute, the lone minstrel of Tariq's musical instrument with which he chronicles great deeds through song. He tried to listen to various music for the request. Cool. The lone minstrel and his white lute chronicle the journey of the night wings through song. Using it, you may hear glimpses of your past experiences across the downside. Which piece of music do you wish to hear? I love it. This, um, a lot of the music in this game reminds me of the music from Diablo 1. This, like, it's like guitar. Or I guess maybe it was maybe it is a lute. I'm not sure. Very cool. I have fond memories of Diablo 1, especially the music. It just created such a great atmosphere. 
All right, let's speak to the lone minstrel. The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He is very still. Not unlike when he was sleeping. He kind of kind of barely looks alive. He's so pale. Are those gloves or those? I think that's those are his hands. Reader, I shall keep this brief. As you shortly have a right, you must conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rights, which means that you may know something of my nature. Ancient manuscript revealing a mystic path to freedom from the downside. For centuries, the teachings of the eight scribes have been passed down through oral tradition alone. I can't... I'm pretty sure we already read that. On the contrary, you know not what he means, and he soon senses this. Forgive me, for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, I have served the Nightwings for some time. Must be one of the people that's mentioned in the book, or is he one of the? Is possibly he's one of the scribes. Conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. A lone minstrel nods farewell to you and steps away. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what it says. The rope collar, in the words of Gal Galathanian, the master general. I knew it was a fool's errand, but my liege, he would not listen. He instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly fallen from the heavens in the reaches of the downside. He would be a living legend if only he could grasp it. Whispered in his ear that Kalar Rope Collar, his elder and most trusted aide, would that I slew that man myself. Kelmer, is it possible that's the, that's the minstrel? His was a simple and yet brilliant ruse to draw the emperor farther still from his responsibilities and towards his greed. Thus did the emperor begin an expedition into the forsaken lands. He insisted that he go himself. All right. Time, I guess we're gonna get prepared for the next right. You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Haub, anticipating the hour that the rites are to commence again. All is quiet for a time, and then from out of nowhere charges in a gangly cur. He stops short and gives you a mighty sneer. It's Barker Ashpaws. Real piece of work. Just just don't make eye contact. Oh well. Would you look at this lot? Even got one of our own consorting with the two leggers. You're a disgrace there, mate, you realize? <coughs> Making me cough, sorry. Ah, oh, good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Didn't know you knew about the rights. He's a troublemaking cur who thrills in the defeat of the triumvirates who stand against him. This could be... a bit intense. Oh, I know about a lot of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're going to be very, very sad after we wipe the floor with you here. Don't know whose back you scratched to earn yourself a spot on the high and mighty night wings there, but I'm going to make sure all of you regret it. Because, why not? Sounds good, sounds good. The Kerr Barker laughs away as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling as the stars above begin to glow. Beating with W or sprinting with shift costs stamina, which generates automatically. I feel like the stamina regenerates pretty quickly. You don't have to be too careful about it. To the splendors of the accursed cairn of Haub. You shall find the downside grows less pleasant from this point. But first, there's a tradition to uphold. This time you stand against the dissidents. Even now they hunger to defeat you. Perhaps not simply to regain their freedom, but to deny you yours. Ha, 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 ha. 
As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curs you stand against this night continue hooting and howling. Oi, come on, you lot, let's boil some blood. Then Rookie pulls you aside. Um, look, chum, I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? Since he means it, you make a mental note not to ask about his history with Barker whenever time permits. Uh, mental note to ask about his history with Barker. That makes more sense. It's all right, Rookie. We can take care of them. Begging your pardon, but if you need another to stand at your side this night, I have someone here whom I would recommend. Do not be coy with us, minstrel. Don the robes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I did not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. Nice. A creature wearing tiny raiments appears as the lone minstrel's side. Okay, what does Tiza say? Tiza seems to be volunteering to take on your adversaries, the dissidents. Absurd! The imp knows the rights? He knows a great deal. So long as the Nightwings stand together, he shall be at their side. Though, you need not take my word for it. Tizo, your adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show your comrades what you can do? The little imp peers at you. You sense his connection to the rights as he awaits your guidance. <laughs> okay. Tizo seems excited to demonstrate some of his favorite tricks. Reader, influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He is inviting you to try. Another joins your ranks. And a mere imp. Although. Okay. No one cannot be. Does it? We shall see what comes of this Oh, you can knock these around. To hold B to implode. What? Press Y to proceed. I didn't think of too long. It kind of like... It reminds me of Kirby, I guess. Well done as ever, Tizo. Taizo. Not sure how that's pronounced yet. Sticks <laughs> crack, okay. Tizo is happy to lend his support during the rites. If you could use his help. Well then, reader, who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings? Who shall conduct the rites? Hmm. So we can't have Ruki. So we can remove that from him. I guess we should. Uh, I kind of, I kind of want to bring Faye in though. Maybe we should use Faye, Jodario, and Tizo. We'll try Tizo out. Not sure if that would be good on Tiza though. What are his stats? Glory 15. Same as Rookie. Quickness 10. Not as fast. What is this again? Uh, I feel like she's our fastest one. We should give her this. And then we give uh, the moon crest to Tizo. That way, he can, if he decides to explode, he can come back right away. Parchment. Um. Hmm. So 
speed one. But I feel like speed is so like so strong. I thought I um didn't I upgrade this one? That's weird. I'm confused. Oh, we can see the adversaries. Cloud jump. Cloud, do they all cloud jump? Okay. Didn't notice that before. I'm confused. Uh, I thought we upgraded these. Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't confirm it. I don't know. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it this way. Jodario. Jodariel. Jodariel. Faye. Faye. And Tizo. Tizo. Tizo, okay. The choice is cast. May the scribes watch over us or even help us out if we need it. Time's up, you swill. Come on, boys. Let's get him. And we are going to perform the right on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Luckless Love Luck signing off for now. And I love you all.